All right, here I am printing on my uh, Creality K1 Max, printing myself a new wallet. Uh, I've printed many of these wallets in the past. Uh, this is a design of mine. I, this is a slight modification to the existing wallet design. Here's my existing wallet. Uh, this one is TPU, which I kind of like the TPU, although with this seam being straight, uh, I made a modification to that, and now that I think about it, I didn't do exactly what I intended, and now I'm not sure if it'll be good enough. Basically, this this expansion gap in the bottom is a straight line, and so especially the TPU version is the only is the first one that I had a slight problem with where the cards in the middle can potentially slide through a little bit. So this, I put an S curve. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see the hole, the hole there. This, the expansion joint is an S curve, and so the, the idea is that that will prevent cards from slipping through, as opposed to this straight expansion joint. Uh, we'll see how well that works. My initial thought was more like to put a a diagonal across there, but then I realized that there wasn't much. Space base for that but now I'm thinking I see how I could do that the other modification that I did and this print should is supposed to take like an hour uh, the other modification that I did is I made it slightly wider because I realized and I didn't even try it for like years I've, I've been printing these for a few years probably have a bunch of different uh, colors and materials uh, I even did one uh, polyethylene once which was I like the way that one worked it's a pain to print with that though you actually have to print you actually have to put packing tape on the print bed in order to get it to stick to the packing tape because the packing ta tape is polyethylene. Otherwise, it'll never stick to the bed. And then you have glue on the bed and it's just, and then you have a sticky surface on the bottom of the print. And I guess it's not too big a deal. You just, can, just need to do that stuff. And I did like the polyethylene though, the, the flexibility of it. TPU is a little more flexible than I would like, but it works well. Uh, I'll probably make that modification too and redo it in polyethylene. I'm sorry. TPU, but I'm doing it in nylon just because that's what I have in the printer. Uh, I've been printing; I've just been leaving the nylon, carbon fiber nylon, in the in the K1 Max, uh, just because it can. I do have my K1 for other materials, and I have some older, slower printers, but I never use those anymore. Um, and but I did lend out my my K1 to a friend just to see, just to show him how good of a printer it is. Uh, and uh, pro I make it. I should get it back sometime soon because I print like everything in nylon. Because my K1 is usually the one that I. It's just easier to leave nylon, carbon fiber in here, because I like printing with carbon fiber nylon. Cause it's nice and strong. So anyway, um, oh, as so as I was saying, I put. I tried putting. I tried using this as a business card holder, and uh, just a, a different, same design, different print. And I realized that it's optimized for credit cards and cash, but the the uh, business card standard size is three and a half by two. I remember that from just from working in the print industry decades ago. And uh, credit cards are slightly narrower, and so it was like three and three eighths or something like that. So it was actually I had to stuff the business cards in there, and they got uh, the edges. A little bit deformed and so I made it slightly wider so it'll accommodate uh, business cards you am sure you can't see if we did a comparison it'd be impossible to see the difference because I can't get next to it look at my print bed going up and down I remember seeing that before that is telling me that this thing is very not flat but it prints awesome. So that's, but that's funny. This is the first time I noticed it on this one. I noticed it on the K, on my K1 early on, and I don't remember if I, I don't remember exactly what I did. I think I just did like the firmware, but that sort of doesn't make sense. I'm not sure, but you can definitely see it going up and down. If I can be steady here. I mean, you can see the the z-axis screws starting up nothing else. Uh, maybe you can't see that because there's. Vehicle. But it's definitely moving up and down from side to side. Which is funny, but it prints fine. 
So I wonder, I don't remember noticing that before on this one. I remember noticing it once a long time ago on the K1, probably close to a year ago, and then, and then not noticing it. So I don't know if it was a firmware update or what. But uh, what else about this wallet? So I've printed them in PLA, TPU, PETG, polycarbonate, polyethylene. Did I say TPU? Uh, no, carbon fiber nylon. I should do one in just plain nylon. I sent the nylon filament with the K1 that I lent out. So. Um, I think I'm going to buy... I might actually offer to sell the K1 to, to my friend uh, just because when the full color... It's supposed to be a full color one coming out in July. And I intend to definitely buy that. Um, so, we'll see. Uh, what else is going on? That's probably it for this video. I'm not going to stand out here and talk for an hour while this prints and subject myself to nylon fumes for the whole thing. But uh, stay tuned, and I will continue this video in a bit. And uh, like and subscribe, share with your like-minded friends. And uh, stay tuned, and we'll be back. All right, well, we missed, my, uh, we missed the final. I was hoping to get out here and film the end of it. But that's okay. So my new wallet. We'll see how I like that. I may rework that again. The bottom. That's a little chewed up there. So I have these little sacrificial pieces in here. I'm not sure how that's going to work for the nylon. So basically, it's... In, it, it's. So you have this groove. Let me show it on my wallet. My other wallet. So you have this... Uh, pocket here for your thumb to go in and for Ben Franklin to look out here uh, but so that's can be really stringy like it used to just be really stringy across but then I put this uh, sacrificial sort of uh, piece here and it's it's basically supposed to be clear but it fills up with the stringing and then I just pop this out let me I have a phone stand handy so these on all the other materials, these just pop out, but I figured they would be problematic on the uh, nylon, but we'll see. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty integrated there. Although this one, this side's coming off. That piece broke off a little bit. So you can see there, that edge is nice and clean. And that's the purpose of these sacrificial pieces here. I knew it would be problematic with nylon. Oh, the other, that one side came off. Super clean. All right, so as you can see here, came out, this side came out pretty good. This side, not so much. Not too surprised. Uh, nylon is so messy to print. The inside looks pretty good. A little string there. It looks worse on camera than it does in real life. But, yeah, it's a little messy there. A little bit extra stuff there. Anyway, I'll reprint this in TPU at some point. But let's... Uh, hold on. Let's uh, transfer the old funds and cards into the new wallet. All right, I can tell it's a little longer. So now it fits uh, business cards nicely. Ben's still looking out. I prefer to have Ben looking out the nice side. <laughs> so this, the nylon is definitely stiffer. I don't mind it, though. It's pretty good. I don't know if I can fit this water cache in there. Definitely 100 air here. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> it's a bit much for this wallet. I t at first, I didn't really appreciate the uh, TPU version because it's so flobbery. But now that I get used to it, I've been more using it for a while, I actually like it. So I will likely reprint this guy in TPU at some point. But not today because I don't feel like taking the nylon filament out. So anyway... 
uh, I, this wallet is up is available for download on uh, cults3d.com. I will put a link in the description. Actually, I should say this one is available on Cults 3D. This one I just modified today, and I will put it up on Cults 3D, and you should be able to get it. So, like I said, this one fits uh, business cards is better, and the bottom expansion joint is also curved to stop uh, to stop cards from slipping through the bottom. Which on th with nylon, it's not going to be a, any rigid material. It's not going to be a problem anyway. But with the TPU, if you print it in TPU. Sometimes they slide through the bottom. It's not usually, but once in a while. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned, like, subscribe, share with your like-minded friends, and uh, enjoy this spring weather.